offering a new opportunity wins over improvement. new opportunity wins over improvement hello everybody once again i was just on uh, here a few minutes ago but then there was this issue with sound so i'm just going to do my check again right now to make sure everything is working properly at this very moment so bear with me one moment also let me know where you are tuning in from um, and if you are watching this on replay do comment below replay Ah, okay, this seems to work much better. Great. That is very, very good. Always be solution focused. <laughs> That's very important because sometimes something doesn't work. Sometimes there's a technical difficulty, but that is not going to stop us. So once again, welcome everybody to today's episode of Chibar's Daily Show. And I'm super excited to be here with you guys. Uh, I know also I've shared this into my mentorship groups over here. Welcome to all the smilers. Welcome to all the amazing VIP smilers as well as Welcome to the launch of business students. So super excited to have you guys here. So let, again, comment below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Always nice to, nice to know. And if you're watching this on replay, comment below as well. And just one final check to make sure that I can actually see who's here with me. Yes, now you can hear. Thank you so much. Hey, David. Thanks, Char, for joining again. And uh, hey, Nick, nice to have you here live. I've missed you on the live videos <laughs> because I've been going that uh, live on different times. Hey, Garrett, welcome back. <laughs> so now everything's joining. Hey, we have Master Wong in the house. How are you doing, Master Wong? Really, really nice to have you here. Actually, I was um, talking to Kaina about you. I was saying, uh, I wonder how Master Wong is doing. So really nice to have you here. Really, really cool. Now, like I was saying uh, in my previous video, which obviously you guys couldn't hear, uh, is that I just jumped off a uh, mentorship call with my amazing VIP smilers and a VIP social media lifestyle entrepreneurs. And what we have been talking about is the creation of digital courses and especially of how can you set this up in a way that from the moment that you launch it, you already have a very good idea that is actually gonna work. That is actually, you know, uh, proven on that, that that topic is proven to get high conversions because you never want to be creating something, putting it out there, spending a lot of time, money, effort in the creation process, marketing it out there, and then getting no one to buy it, right? Because it's not good for your business, it's no fun whenever you have put so much effort into something and then. I doubt that nobody's actually interested in it. So that's why it's very important to know what are the steps to take in order for you to find out something, whether it is a digital course, whether it is a program, whether it is a physical product or anything, maybe a surface, how do you know that it is gonna help you to really help other people and to get loads of conversions? So if you guys are excited for that, comment below and say excited. Hello, all sounds on, super. Uh, turning in from all over. <laughs> nice. That's super cool. Thank you, Nick. Hey, Ellis, welcome back. And hello, Dominica. Nice to have you here as well. So very cool to be here with you guys. Now you can actually see a remnant of what I was teaching just before uh, with, with the VIP Smilers tuning in from all around the world, which was pretty epic. Um, but right now I want to share with you one essential part of that, which is what the title says, which is why offering a new opportunity wins over improvement. And this is specifically very useful um, in the surface industry or in the, let's say, information industry. It actually also works in product industries, don't get me wrong, but specifically when it comes to you being uh, a coach or whether you are, are, are creating a course or whether you have a particular surface, this is very, very much uh, applicable there. Um, in, in the most sense. And I'm going to give you guys a straight example because today's video is not going to be very long. I really want to get to the point very fast and allow you to take this away and use it in your business straight away, right? So basically what this is about is that whenever you are creating something, you have to understand who you are creating it for. And this is also, we just finished Launch Your Business yesterday. And before that, I had been training up the wealth yogis of the Iron Creator Company. And we've been talking a lot about marketing, about sales, 
and the extreme importance of understanding human psychology in allowing you to help a lot of people and in allowing you to get you know a lot of conversion making a lot of money and making, making money on autopilot right that's that's obviously essential if you want to create a freedom lifestyle a lifestyle where you can do what you want when you want it and still have your business producing money, producing income on autopilot and helping people on autopilot. And so that's a very essential part of what you need. You need to know who you're doing it for. You need to understand who is my target audience? Who is the people that I'm wanting to serve? And with that, you need to understand what is human psychology? What are the different things that people you know, have in their minds and what is going to allow them to grow themselves? What is going to allow them to take action to go on this journey with you by buying your product uh, product or program or service, right? And what you have to understand, and that's specific for today's uh, video, is that people are not very keen on improvements, right? I want you to comment that below. People are not very keen on improvement. Because say, for instance, this. Say you are a fitness coach and you are launching a new fitness program, whether that is a program where you're actually training them, so you uh, live training them, or it could be that you're launching a course where you have pre-recorded your material and you're going to train them through your videos. What you have to understand is that, in principle, everybody can do with you know, your fitness course. Everybody you know, would want to get to that end result of being fit and feeling healthy and sexy in their own body. But what you have to understand, and this is the human psychology part, is that a lot of people have already been trying a lot of things. They've already been trying different workouts. They've already been trying to lose the fat or, or f finding a way to feel more fit and to get more energy and therefore to feel better in all areas of their life. But because they have tried so many different things and they have not yet gotten to the result that they wish to get, somehow they associate what they have been doing before with a lot of difficulty, with a lot of effort, with a lot of um frustration and so the moment you have an amazing program which you know could really really be the thing for them to get them to that next level the moment you say improvement how you can improve your health how you can improve your current circumstances even if you don't use the word improvement but if you're just basically saying that this is something how you can do a particular element better then they naturally already associate it with the negative connotation that they have to that process that they have been trying before. They're already associating the cool thing that can make the, you know, the world, it can mean the world to them with that previous process of trying it and not of achieving. And so if you introduce your course or your service or your program or your thing to them by means of them having to do certain things to improve their situation, they're not going to want to take action or at least they are not going to be as keen upon taking action because they know, oh, I have to try this and this and this, and this again. And I failed previously. I have not been able to succeed previously. And so what is much better, which is, again, you're selling the same thing, but it's about how do you present it? How do you effectively communicate it to people such that they want to go on that journey with you is if you talk about the new opportunity, a new way, a new method, a new diet, a new program, a new way of people to get to the end result that they so much want. And just to give you an example, it could be, let's say, again, if you're a fitness coach and you're sharing with them this title, which is um, eat what you want and still lose weight with this new uh, revolutionary method, that is something that they would be much more interested in and much more happy to go for because you're saying, hey, this is a new method which by the way, naturally it is. If you are introducing your own new thing, it naturally is different because you are different from all the other people, from all the other methods, right? So that is naturally in there. But because it's a new thing, they disassociate all the previous trial and error and feel like, hey, this is a new thing. I'm gonna try this now. And I feel like, hey, this might be worth it. They don't associate it with the previous frustration of not being able to get the result. And if you really think about it, most people, they are not very much interested in how they're going to get there as long as they get there, right? That is the reason why in self-development, for instance, people go from event to event to event 
right? People go and try different business models. First, they're trying drop shipping, then they're going into network marketing, then they're trying coaching, then they're trying something else. And it's not that these methods don't work, not at all. It's because people don't yet go far enough to understand and make it work for themselves because maybe they haven't got the right mentor, maybe they haven't got the right strategies, maybe it was not the right time for them to be able to commit. And the same with diets. People jump from diet to diet to diet, not because they love that diet so much, but because they want that dream body. And so if you understand that principle of that people will want to go to the end result, they will want to get what they want, but they would like to do it in a way that does not remind them of the previous pain, then introducing your new program, your new service, your new product as a new opportunity, that will get you way more sales and thereby getting your, your people, your, your clients, way more results than if you go through the route of improving something. And that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. So I just want to say to all, thank you to all of you joining. Hello, everybody. There's so many names. So I'm not going to go and, and, and list all the names and see. I'm trying to wave at all of you, though. But um, thank you so much for being here. If this video was useful, please feel free to send in some love and to comment something nice below. Always nice. I'm always reading all the comments that people leave. And I try to respond to all of them as well. So please comment something nice. But also, if you think that anybody can benefit from this video, feel very free to hit the share button and share it with your tribe or to tag someone below. But most importantly, make sure to implement this in your life and allow you to see the different results that you're going to get from implementing this new revolutionary strategy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. And I see you tomorrow on another episode of Jabari's Daily Show. Bye.